Okay, so Bellular came out with a video. Is it or it's easy to run Lost Ark and the developer agrees. So I'm interested to see what this video is really about. Let's check it out. First of all, wow, 1.3 million concurrent players. Yeah. Lost Ark yeah. actually now holds. I was not expecting that many people to play this game and be that interested. I knew it was gonna be popular, but like that's crazy. It's the record for the second highest peak players on Steam. What's the highest? Hold on, what's the highest here? PUBG? What? PUBG has three? That's crazy. I didn't even notice. I didn't even know PUBG was that popular. That's crazy. I love PUBG, man. I fucking played PUBG. That was my main game for a year and a half. A year and a half, I only played PUBG with my friends. It was so much fun. That game is... Probably till this day my favorite battle royale. Um, oh, the gunplay is what makes it right. The gunplay is so so hard and so good. The sound, uh, it, the sounds kind of shit, but when it works, it's good. The scale of the maps are they're huge. The the vehicles are so fun to drive. I have so many good memories in that game, and it's just so satisfying when you get like a a kill or two in a row. Right, you get a headshot with the car ninety eight from like 400 meters away or i don't even know a thousand meters away as someone's running and then when you're when you win a game when there's like the zone is like really small and you got like a team or two fighting each other i have so many memories i, I wish PUBG was still good i really do i'm so i was so bummed out that it just started to decline and then there was the cheaters involved with PUBG, the the freaking lag issues, the crashing, and then the changes. They ruined the game. Peak players on About 3.3 million? What Ever. the fuck? A second only That's crazy. To PUBG at its absolute peak. Now, sure, a lot of that is artificially inflated by players waiting in the queue rather than playing the game, but still, that is well over a million people wanting to play. Yeah. Uh, the only time it's dropped below 350k since launch was during server maintenance. A tremendous success then. Yeah, for let's check. Let's see how many people playing right now. It's what? Wednesday morning. It's a Wednesday not morning, 2.12 2, in the afternoon, and it's got 927,000 players, number one on, on Steam. That's crazy. Wildgate, RPG, and Amazon, and clearly deserved. But how many players are actually going to stick with it? Yeah. Is Lost Ark a game set up for long-term success, or is the glass going to shatter once people start to progress and the true nature of the game is revealed? Once people see that, oh, it's an RNG-based grind fast on multiple characters that asks for an obscene amount of time. Or, at least that's what everyone's being saying anyway. Maybe some people are missing. I don't know. I'll have to see. For me, I am enjoying this game still. I am not... I'm taking it at my own pace, but I'm also trying to speedrun it, kind of. But, you know, I have a life outside of the game. People are going nuts on this game, man. They already have like 100 and 200 hours in this game. It's great. People are already eye level like a thousand plus, And I think they're going to get burnt out, but... I'm taking my time with it. I am on, I'm eye level 560 something. I'm taking my time with trying to get to tier two. Um, and I'm having fun with it. The only thing I don't like about it right now is I'm following that, that speed run to tier three guide. And the island stuff and all the questing is just getting old. It's like in all the dailies and weeklies, it's like they're kind of chores. And then I do chores for like two to three hours, and then I can do my chaos dungeons and my abyssal raids and dungeons, and then my guardian raids, and then I have a blast. Those three things are what's keeping me playing this game and what really pays off. The combat is so fun. Uh, I have a blast in those dungeons, and that's why I'm still playing. So we'll have to see. And then there's the other classes too. There's so much replayability because I'm just I'm just playing Gunlancer. I don't have any alts yet. I plan on making one pretty soon, but like I don't have any alts. And just learning a new class and everything i think it's i think it's gonna be fun i'm not too sure and then also the the end game stuff tier three i'm not even in a raiding guild yet right i'm not even in a raiding guild yeah by the way anyone on landon east coast raid you guys want to raid you want a raiding guild you know I, I haven't seen many raiding guilds yet form at all even i think I'll, the majority of the player base i feel like i'm not sure 
are probably around level 50 right now. Maybe even leveling up still. Maybe just getting to tier 1. I think... Because this game just came out like two weeks ago. Not everyone has 50 hours to play video games a week, right? So I think the vast majority of players are still leveling up or just hitting 50 now. Just getting to tier 1 and experimenting still and trying out the end game stuff. And I want to I wanna raid. I want to do the, the tier 3 stuff. I want to see how that feels to be in a raiding guild, to be in a competitive raiding guild and see how it feels compared to WoW. You know, I, I stopped playing WoW because the chores became too much. The systems were trash. It, it was, I was so locked into my character, into my spec. Like it was hard to even play Beast Mastery or Survival. There was so much busy work you had to do to even switch specs. It was crazy. You couldn't even switch specs between bosses and fights because you had a hearth to change your conduits. It was so, so, so bad, so bad. And I'm hoping the late game and Lost Ark, I'm hoping after I finish these islands and stuff, I can just do the late game stuff. Just do the dungeons, the stuff I like. The weeklies and dailies I don't mind doing, you know. Um, and I think they're really nice to have that, that rest bonus. But if there's a lot of grinding with more and more quests and then stuff that I don't like as much, um, I'm, I might get burnt out and I might stop playing. But, you know, we'll have to see. I, I think... I think for the majority, though, I think a lot of players will play this game for a little bit and then, you know, kind of get bored of it, but we'll see. Missing the point. Maybe they're missing something. If you've checked any resource online, then you're going to see this. Checklists of what you yeah. should do oh, yeah. every day and every week. Yep. The daily Chaos Dungeon. Check. Daily Guardian Raids. Check. Three Una's Tasks. Okay, the first two are fun. These are lame. Check. Then your rapport. Then your adventure. I haven't touched rapport yet. Shit. Adventure Island and the world boss. Adventure Island. Just haven't done that. World boss. World boss is fun. Okay, that's dailies. What about weeklies? Guardian challenge modes. Abyssal dungeons. Fun. Fun. Weeklies. Abyss and legion raids. Oh, and also the fun. challenge abyss dungeon. And fun. Don't forget to do all your life skills so that you can craft battle items. Yeah, honestly, I don't mind life skilling. I think they're pretty fun, except like the, I like the, I like the lumberjack stuff, the mining and then the herbalism stuff. And the fishing is okay too, but I really wish every MMO and every fishing in a game would just copy Stardew Valley's because it's actually interactive. This one, you just left click. Or you even you click E again once you once it does the animation. It's not fun or engaging at all, actually. But the life scaling, I don't mind. It's a nice break. It's you know at least for a streamer, it's fun. I can talk to chat and chill. But as for a regular player, yeah, that I think it'd get kind of old. That's only a few hours a week. If you cut it down, that's uh, like an hour a day. Oh, and everyone who is knowledgeable about Lost Ark will tell you. That's going to feel like it's not enough. Yeah, because if you want to keep up with the big boys, with maybe yeah. the streamers who you watch and, you know, they can just play the game for 12 hours a day. Yeah, that's the thing. People, it's crazy. Some people, like, like I said earlier, they don't stop, dude. They don't sleep. Uh, if you want that sweet, sweet dopamine progress rush, then you need to do all that in alts as well. One will help. Two is a fair balance. So that's only three hours a day. No biggie. <laughs> Uh, the game even helps you out with that by giving you two free power passes. That's two characters straight to 50 and ready to grind. That is what Lost Ark has been described as, especially for us in the MMO scene. We are used to this, though. Our yeah. games are meta games. Their design is usually complex enough to require theory crafters. And so we end up approaching games like a well-trained army. To swap analogies for a second, the prevailing opinion is that the real meat of Lost Ark is the grind. That it is the daily checklist. Yeah, but the grind is fun, right? It should be fun because the combat's fun. So uh, so far, I don't, uh, I don't really mind it too bad, too much. Leading to the you know the gear progression and that everything else compared to running around in the maw for months and months and months with no mount, doing the maw, and. You know, compared to the mod, this is, this is amazing. So that is, is the side salad, you know? Uh, the stuff you engage with only when you are done with the good part and have some spare time. 
Um, and what's that? What's that new? The new Ma zone? Oh, I forget. It was so stupid though. Let's compare it to WoW. So you have the Ma every day. You have Torghast every week. Torghast. I never enjoyed Torghast ever. I fucking despise Torghast. Not one Torghast run that I have fun in. It was just a chore. Stupid, stupid mode. Terrible. Blizzard sucks. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> bad experiences in Torghast. Um, Torghast every week, you got those dailies in the mall every day. You have those new things you have to do every three days in the mall. Not fun at all. Then you have to do, to be competitive, at the start of a new raid tier, you have to do 10 Mythic Plus a day, or 10 Mythic Plus a week. And those have to be at least, what, probably around 15s now, right? To have good eye level, to have better rewards. How much, how much time is that, right? Maw, 30, 30, depending on your gear level. That's hours. That's like, I remember back when Sanctum of Domination came out and I was full, pretty much best in slot, Mythic gear. Right, because I we cleared Mythic Castle Nathria. I was doing, I think, at least fifteen hours a week, at least fifteen hours a week on just chores. But then again, most of that time was the Mythic Plus. I particularly didn't like Mythic Plus that much. I really didn't. But to be competitive, you know, to do everything, you really you have to do this stuff. And with Lost Ark, you know. There's a lot of chores, but I am unliking it more than I did in WoW and Shadowlands. So and while this is absolutely true, technically, because content is locked behind your character's item level, a few evenings of Lost Ark and trying to have a fresh perspective makes it feel like that's kind of missing the point. And I think this is good news. The end game content is a lot of fun. Yeah. And the gearing loop is genuinely captivating. But it is also a humongous grind. It's That's true. Remembering that you can absolutely stop to smell the roses, and that the developers very obviously want you to do that. Exactly. Like, like yes, yeah, slow down. People are like going way too hard in this. The game just came out. It's been out for two weeks. This game's gonna be out for years. Relax, psychos. Here's our thinking. Lost <laughs> Ark fucking is an relax. Astonishingly large game. The map size is just bloody crazy especially for a modern mmo that has only been out for just over two years there's 91 islands to get tokens from wow i didn't know that full of quests hidden stories collectibles npcs to build rapport with and a whole bunch more i gotta check out the report system i haven't done any report at all i really should do that one of the islands is just the chicken island you <laughs> go there to kill some chickens you become a chicken and you trade in some chicken tokens yo panda island the best island if you disagree get out for upgrade items it's not hyper engaging panda the island the best isn't some beautifully designed masterpiece nor is it hard but that's almost not the point here the point here is that it's a novel experience and it's a fun one yeah it's fun and that's what we've noticed for for every bit of content lost ark has that will efficiently progress the end game loop it has something else that you can do that can give you some progress but won't be captured in an optimized for efficiency checklist and that's really what we want to talk about with lost ark that's the big take just because a small majority of the or small actually i think it's a lot of people but just because like a small percentage of people are no life in this game doesn't mean you have to you know it's not required away as as you know me and matt being looking at the game and those things are likely dozens of hours if not more on their own now earlier this week we released uh, my video on ff14 side activities it was specifically the treasure maps a little bit of the hunt trains and how they're just designed to be fun content but they provide you with a light dusting of rewards so you don't feel <laughs> like you're wasting your time by doing them you okay know, you do them for fun but i never really got to, to final fantasy end game i just am at the end of heaven sword right now probably go back to it eventually but you know for now i have a lot of other stuff to play at the end you've actually racked up some of the stuff that you would have wanted anyway and that just highlights FF14's understanding of giving players just a nice amount of freedom. And Lost Ark actually does have an equivalent that feels almost one to one. And it is called the Cube. It's a random. I haven't done the Cube at all. A party of four in a few different ways. Uh, kill enemies in time. Kill a boss in time. Okay. Survive a bunch of incoming abilities. 
uh, all with a stack of random things happening to you. And that ranges from getting extra speed and extra damage output to, oh. uh, well, actually taking triple the damage when you're hit. That's now, cool. So it's, it's like it's like their version of Torghas, kind of. Crafting items and engravings. No upgrade items, but those things are... Oh, thank God. I thought I was missing out on the cube. I was like, oh my God, I gotta do the cube today. ...are ultimately all useful. So it's a perfect example, then, of a piece of content that is novel, that is clearly separate from everything else in the game, and that is just fun to engage with, with decent rewards. Yeah, this is, like, pretty fun. There's also the tower. That's a single player... Haven't done this yet, either. A, ...just a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of different things. Uh, then, of course, there are the timed uh, island spawns, right? The ones the game conveniently highlights for you. Then, there's the sheer backlog of side quests. Quests on islands, Ignea tokens, Makoko seeds. Yeah, if you're a collector in any MMO, you will love Lost Ark. There was actually a guild doing like a Makoko seed hunt in, uh, as a whole group. It was really cool. I didn't do it, but I thought that was really neat. Art collecting, co-op sailing events, and other stuff. Most of which either directly or otherwise does contribute towards your character's uh, skill points, stats, or provide some small amount of progress on your gearing track. Everything yeah. you do is a nice to have. It may be not as directly efficient as doing your daily chores and picking up the daily Una tasks that are recommended for speed, but there is a big world. I need to get that spreadsheet. <laughs> Yo, put that in the description, Belly Alert, please. Experience. And I mean that, if you stop to pay attention, you actually look past the pretty meh plot and the underwhelming writing, at least in the English localization, then the scenarios you find yourself in are actually kind of cool. I did like, that boss last night. Like, taking so an fun. entrance exam to join a delivery company, or like uh, you know mentioned before, the whole becoming a chicken while trying to kill a giant golden chicken. Being a panda on Panda Island was probably the top three things I've done in this game so far. Those panda quests were revolutionary you there's even one thing that proves the devs while they obviously and i suppose part of it just being a korean mmo uh, they allow for pretty heavy monetization of progress uh, they're happy to have rng upgrade failures and they design these long daily checklists there's things that show they do understand that people need variety and this is something that only really lands uh, when you play but chaos dungeons straight up seem really boring initially like you just delete massive waves of enemies with i like them skills with really not much skill or thought required and that seems like a terrible waste since guardian raids and abyss dungeons prove that this team can design really fun fights but, but i feel like chaos dungeons will eventually get old you know maybe they can implement similar things i don't know what they could do really i have no idea that's actually when it starts to click because when you have done, uh, you know, when you do one after, uh, you know, another Guardian Raid or two, and you've just been super focused on reading boss tells and avoiding attacks for like 20 minutes, well, Chaos Dungeon then actually feels like a good stretch of just decompressing. Yeah. Absolutely Not having a brain is f the best gameplay. Passing some shit and having some fun. So it ends up being this balanced one-two punch of gameplay for an evening, and... If you actually miss these things for a few days, you actually get a rest bonus for that content. So if you miss two dungeons or raids, then the next one will give you double loot. So they've basically designed a less efficient backup for people who miss out. And that means that if you take five days away from the game, you only lose two and a half days worth of materials in terms of progress. Now that means, as to how it feels to play, that the devs have created a game that gives you just that bit more choice. You can do a list of high efficiency. That is so nice, because like in WoW, they don't really, did they have that? I don't think they have that in WoW, right? If you miss your dailies, like, you gotta go back tomorrow. You don't, you don't get the bonuses. And like a lot of times the sort of expansion, at least in previous expansions, it's gotten better. It's gotten a lot better, but like before, you needed reputation. You needed to get exalted fast, so you, you can't miss days, you know? Agency chores every single day and treat it like a job, or you can just chill out and explore what the game has to offer. Either way, you will actually make meaningful progress. I'm somewhere in the middle. I have a lot of time on this game already. I think I have like 55 hours since it came out like two weeks ago, but I'm also like 
doing my other stuff, you know? I'm not just playing Lost Ark. But I'm also trying to speedrun it, because I, I do want to get to the end game as fast as possible. That's what I like, at least. I like the rating and stuff. So basically, I actually think that the massive focus on the gearing cycle and doing that as fast as possible... But I've been on this website, this particular page for a while. I think that's a valid way to play the game, especially if you are a streamer or a content creator who's just, you know, already somehow put hundreds of hours in or whatever. But that's not the only way to play. So just be careful that when you're seeing people play this game, loads of them are literally playing. The, the, you know what the sad thing is? Where he is, where he ended off in that page, that's like 10 to 15% of the page. There's still pages and pages and pages left to go on that. Oh, I'm like, I think I'm like a little more than halfway done with it. For a job. And that's going to mean you're going to play it in that more efficient way. It's how I would play it if I was mono gaming it on Twitch for two weeks. Absolutely. Yeah, people look towards as Twitch streamers who it's literally their job to play video games. And because of that, they play 40 hours a week. And they think, you know, oh, I have to do that. I have to do that. I have to do that. I have to play like them. But you really don't. It's, I don't know. People need to realize that there's so much FOMO in every game nowadays. Look at Classic WoW. People go so hard in Classic WoW, and I feel like that game isn't really... I mean, it depends. If you enjoy that playstyle, I do. I like to get to the end game. I like doing the rating stuff, so that's why I'm going hard. But if you don't enjoy that stuff, like, you don't need to know life. And I don't begrudge those people at all. But just know that what you see there isn't the only way to play this game. Play that how you have fun. That entire framing of, of you know, your playtime as just being knocking out these chores, I think that can turn the game into a job. And if you kind of want one of those games where it's almost like you're employed by the game and you just do the same thing every day, then go ahead, you'll have fun. But I just think it's worth highlighting that the developers have put a lot of effort into building a pretty rich and varied world. And even if their yeah. story isn't that good, um, they certainly have a lot of variety and some cool set pieces. And to loop back to the question that the start of this video posed, I think players understanding this is the key to Lost Ark's longevity. There are two ways. Yeah, to I agree. A mad dash to the finish line is one, but the other, uh, intended for a bigger variety of players, is slow and steady progression through years of content and with tons of fun distractions along the way. If we keep the focus on getting to T3 instantly, then I actually think the glass will shatter for too many players and they'll wonder why they're coming home from school or work to sign into another job. I don't agree with this. You can still complete, compete in NAEU first. Actually, I kind of do, right? So I was thinking, but it's, it's impossible for you to match whales in terms of raw character power. That's true. Never mind. I feel like you can still compete. But then again, the people who compete, who also are spending thousands of dollars, they're just going to win, right? They'd have that advantage. That's why I like... That's kind of how it is with the world first race. I mean, they're all have spent millions of gold on BOEs, but that's the one thing that kind of sucks about the pay to win shit. But then again, it really doesn't matter. Job instead of a game. So that's the video, really. Uh, given how much the initial rush is all about skipping the story and the quest dialogue, uh, which actually is entirely understandable, by the way. Um, but we figured. The developers know that a great MMO isn't just about engagement and grind. It's also about giving players a good experience day in, day out, even on the days they don't log in. Yeah. And that's why at the last LAO OM, which is like their version of one of those big, you know, Yoshi P letter from the producer things, the game director actually said that releasing too much raid content was a mistake. And the reason why he thought yeah. it was a mistake is because it forced players to go too fast. And now, he said, that when they're developing the game in the future, they're going to focus more on the horizontal content. So while Lost Ark has serious Korean grindfest design at its core, that focus from players could mean there's a lot of people who will miss out on what the devs have made, which is a lot of quality game. And if you've watched the most recent LAO ON, it does seem like there's actually quite a lot of quality game yet to come. I'm excited so for some of the new go. classes. That basically is the word on Lost Ark Endgame as we see it. Look, if you're watching this channel, you're, you're not watching it because you want a guide 
on how to, you know, effectively optimize your Lost Ark gameplay. <laughs> I think the job of this video is to say, hey, this is very broadly what's here. This is how you could yeah. enjoy the game. There is more than just the daily checklist game. Do what you like. So that's I agree. That. Let me know then. Have you found any of this to be true in your gameplay experience? I certainly think that as time goes on, the more we're able to stop and smell the roses, see the yeah, cool that's true too. Creativity the devs have put into games. I think the more we enjoy them and appreciate them, and I'm just becoming more and more wary of the whole play a game like a job mindset that I think sometimes can happen because of, I mean, how streamers present the game, how people exactly. like present the game, and maybe I'm just being a bit more self-reflective than that. I, I am. I was so bummed out when people in my guild were eye level like a thousand, and I was like level just hitting like level like. Well, I was level fifty, but I was like eye level like four hundred. But now I've accepted that. I'm I'm just going at my own pace, right? I don't have the time. Other people do, and that's that's totally okay. They're gonna go at their pace, and that's just faster than me. But that's not that's not a problem, you know, not a problem at all. I'll still see the, all the content eventually. But that was that was a good video. I really agree with pretty much everything you said there. Um, yeah.